Hey buddy, how are you? Come here. Hi, how are you? Solar. It's a little bit different. It used to be about solar. Uh, now it's just whether or not you were paid properly. Did you guys uh, have a lot of people come and approach you about solar out here, huh? Yep. Okay, I'll cut to the chase. If you flip it around, DeSantis vetoed a bill. The bill stated that the utility company was not going to add all these additional uh, charges that we face. These little nickel and dime fees from FPL. So what's happening is a lot of the homeowners are being reconciled with negative electric bills. Now solar is one way that you can do it, but what we had done was imagery for all these homes. Just kind of pull yours up real quick. Uh, let's see here. The house number, you could probably help me. 2401. 2401, so we would be this one. Okay. So you can see it's considered an east-west home. Um, obviously it's completely south on this portion right here mm -hmm. but the idea would be is we would propose the idea to utilize you guys as a model home where we would take the money that you give to FPL to fund the entire project so you wouldn't come out of pocket it's not one of these programs like a lease how it works is well, I've had there's been people that yeah. come by who is like just seemed like it was a little shady or you know I didn't trust them you know that's it. they weren't from FPNL they were from somebody else and of course pretty soon they're talking you into having somebody come over and look on your roof and measure for panels and uh -huh. finally it's like I got to call them say no look I'm not interested you know when you've got all of my neighbors all signed up and they're putting your stuff on their roof and then come see me of course you know and uh -huh. well, that made them all leave so I've been doing solar since 2014. It's probably very rare that you have five people coming to your door with cameras. And with cameras yeah, um, like I said, they are like here for training. Um, the current situation that you're in right now is at the mercy of the power company. We proposed the idea to actually produce it on site. And if you turn that around, that's the situation if nothing changes. The idea is if it shifts into true ownership, you'll eventually have no bill whatsoever and it starts coming in negative where the utility company is paying you because you're back feeding into the grid. Now, all I do is this. I create this chart. I show you, hey, if you stay with the utility company, you're gonna give them that much based on a $150 bill. I'd show you the difference with the utility compared to solar. For this family, they save 51K. That's what the panels look like. The older stuff compared to the newer stuff. The biggest questions I get is, what is this going to cost me? You're already paying for it. Let's say this side is a $150 bill that you pay to FPL. This side would be $100 and $120 roughly that you have as a fixed amount that never goes up. So when that $150 turns into two $250 because of all this grid hardening, you're not affected by it. Well, I'm lucky right now my electric bill has been running like $86, $88 bucks a month. Of course. This is the this is the tightest house I've ever lived in. I've lived in a number of houses in Florida that had like bad windows that just, uh -huh. you know, you run the air conditioner, you're air conditioning outside. Yeah. <laughs> but this house, actually I bought it because somebody had already retrofitted the windows uh -huh. and it seemed like a pretty tight house and well, the electric bill has been staying acceptable. You know, I mean, it would be nice if it was nothing, but you know, this so, is the cheapest electric I've ever paid in any place I've lived. If you have a hundred dollar electric bill, let's just say a hundred, round it up, because obviously it goes up in the yeah. summer, yeah. right? Yeah. Obviously we have higher bills in the summer. Well, let's just say it's a hundred bucks a month. That's a hundred percent interest that you give to the utility company. Because we can both agree, if you move, the utility company is going to say, hey, thanks for being loyal. We're going to send you 4,500 bucks back. What I'm proposing is taking that $100 that you throw away into a trash can, move it into a piggy bank where you own the system outright, and you're no longer paying that money to FPL like paying a landlord. Because if your landlord kept raising your rate, eventually you would move. So it's like every time you pay the $1,200 a year to the utility company, they keep that. If you could pay yourself the same way that you chose to own the home here, that's the reason you would do it. It's not because of the savings, because people aren't going solar for $20, $30 savings a month. It's to be complete independence and shift that liability to an asset. It's like if you rented an apartment, it was a thousand bucks, and the landlord said, hey, you can own it, just pay a thousand dollars, and you were never gonna move, it makes sense. But all I do, it's not a doorstep decision. This isn't Amazon Prime. All I do is I set up a time when you have it, and I'd put together the full design. It's already about 95% of the way complete because we have the sun hours. We just take the $100 average bill. We'd input it into the computer. It would spit me out a design and then I'd pop by and I'd show you basically this chart, which kind of breaks it all down for us. And I would fill this out with you. 
the left would just be your current situation. Uh, the right would be your exact situation with solar, the tax credit. Obviously, you're protecting yourself from inflation. And then that's what we want out of it. We want to be able to use you as a reference. Obviously, not go brag to the neighbors, keep one of the small signs, and then fly a drone after the install. Those are the main reasons people do it, the nine pillars of solar, and then those would be the reasons why you'd be disqualified from the program. So I'm a consumer man. I'm not looking for a long drawn out process. I'm not a used car salesperson. Um, this is definitely a service and I have no problem popping by and showing you a report that will just compare everything. I mean, well now the panels you're going to put on the roof, okay, say, say I go for this, are, is that going to provide enough power for me to not, well, am I going to still be connected to the grid? Is that the problem? So, that's the question. So, so the, the short answer, yes, you are still okay, connected, so still to, connected the grid. to the grid. Yes, but you're not buying any kilowatts that are being produced from the grid. You telling me that you have a hundred dollar electric bill? I always tell these guys, you don't want to convince somebody on the on the on the plane. You want the destination. If I told you I'd give you a free trip to Hawaii, but there's a forty hour plane, no one's going to want to do that. This is the destination: is that you start receiving electric bills that say do not pay. This is an FPL electric bill, and that it's negative because. I produce the system that's producing 120, 130% of your power, and all that excess energy is gonna back feed into the grid where the utility company is gonna actually take that power because they have to produce a certain amount from renewables. If you don't have that big of a bill and you have a perfect roof for solar, the hardest part of for me is setting up the time when you have it, where I can sit down with you for 15 minutes, compare it all, and I say this is exactly how it is, no more, no less. Well, in the future, Hopefully, before too much longer, we're selling another house. Perfect. Uh, it's my father's house. It, it's not selling yet. It's a big lot on McGregor Boulevard. And um, what? I don't care about the phone. Shut up. Now she made me forget what I was talking about. Your dad, just, the lot. Okay. Yeah. Just, I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to re-roof this house. After uh -huh. I sell that house, I'm gonna re-roof this. If it's got solar panels on it. So that's what we do. Um, are when we're gonna come and take the solar panels down and then put them back up after they re -roof the house. There's two options. Either one, we can do that, or we can replace the portion of the roof where we're gonna put panels on before we put the panels on. So it just depends. If your roof is not structurally sound, we'll disqualify the project beforehand. Like you could be gung ho about this, but if involved with the project, we reserve the right to disqualify the location due to shading, structure, and or permitting. Well, I got no shading, yep. that's for sure. My structure is good according to the home inspector. Good. Uh, the, the biggest reason why you would get denied is the utility company. If the utility company would not allow us to interconnect to the meter, Solar doesn't make sense unless I can get the meter to spin in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Because I need that sunlight to produce and actually back feed into the grid, which goes through something called an inverter yeah. that converts the sunlight into electricity. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I mean, I understand because I'm a consumer myself. If I was working at 7-Eleven last week, it's not going to give you a lot of confidence and certainty and, you know, feel good about it. And it's not a doorstep decision. I mean, if I pop by with the design, are you going to be here maybe about like, 4 30 or do you guys have maybe like 10 minutes right now because i can produce the design i just need a copy of the utility bill to know what your average kilowatts has been over the last six months and what's the company you represent who we represent with? grateful um so we do solar and roofing these are all of our license numbers and everything um, on the side of our shirt i'm training these guys today um, so I'm actually local as well in Naples. I don't know if you're familiar with the Mercado, North Naples. That's where I, that's like literally where I live right there. I moved down here about four years ago. So when I have the proposal, I'll show you all of that. And uh, it's like, if you look at it and you don't like it, just tell me to kick rocks. If you think that it's a good idea and you know, oh wow, I never thought about it that way. That does make sense. Okay, question. Yep. How many other people have you gotten to do this in the neighborhood? So would I be the first guy or if you for, approach for, other people? No, no, there's already about probably about 20 systems that you can actually see a system that we did right there, right through the trees. You see it under the trees? Straight down ahead. You can barely okay, see yeah, it. Okay, so good. that one, we've done four on that street. There's a lot, a lot of them. I can have a list for you when I come back. Personally, I've installed over a thousand solar systems. I started doing this in Massachusetts. Um, I moved down to Florida. Um, I have a YouTube channel. I train people all over the country. And um, the best thing that I can tell you is like, I mean, I can show you 
plenty of people that it's like I ask them, I take pictures of like, hey, how do you guys like the solar panels? Um, people that have had the solar panels for five years. I mean, I'll just pull this up really quickly for you because I like to show people this. So this is me. Pull it up. Probably the one time I won't have service. Come on, give me some. All right, so this is me. This is a client that I set up eight years ago. No, where you Do you remember me? I'm not Taylor. I am Taylor. I'm not Taylor. See, he knew my name. You eight years later. Why do, why do you think is the reason that you did business with me when I came and knocked on your door? And I haven't had a light bill in eight years. Wow. Felt <laughs> oh, sorry for him. <laughs> to believe you remembered my name. So it's like everything I'm going to say is going to make sense. It's going to sound too good to be true, and people want to know what the catch is. It's genuinely the utility company it has a strong. You don't have another option. Well, now, how much is it going to cost me to do all of this, to install this stuff? Are if, you going to do if, it for free? If I was to pick you as a model home, or if you were to do it with everybody else? Because solar can get pretty expensive. Well, if you're picking me as... as so, so the ideal situation when a family goes solar is they pay a little bit of money out of pocket to get things going. But that's also what deters people from getting started. Okay, well, what's the out of pocket expense to get started? So if I can use you as a model home, where you allow me to use you as a reference to tell us what you like and benefit from having the system, you agree to a non-disclosure, not bragging to the neighbors, and I can keep a small sign here for three months after the installation and fly a drone to show off the new technology, we will show you that the upfront cost would be zero. And if I cannot take the money that you pay to the utility company to pay for this, we don't do it. I'm going to show you a way that this does not cost you a penny out of pocket. We're just shifting the $100 that you donate to the utility company into equity. And if, and if I can't make it make complete sense, don't do it. Because a confused mind will always say no. That's it. I just want the 5 to 10 minutes for me to show you. And at the end of it, it's either going to be I feel good about this or dude, I don't feel good about it. I need time. And I'm cool either way. Worst case scenario, you have more information and you understand what the second option is. All right, what kind of panels do you put up? Are they like the most modern, newest thing? Are they multicellular? Are they monocellular? Are they that crap ass film stuff they put on top of big buildings? Nope. Because so they can't put a panel on them. Uh, so we use the V-Sun triple black panels. They're 405 watt panels. Um, just to show you some quick specs on the panels, pretty much, I'll pull it up real quick. Just show you the difference between, actually was just with another family showing them this. So that's, the panels are triple black compared to the blue ones with the lines. Mm -hmm. um, you can see that it uses a micro gap technology. You get up to 30% extra power generation from backside of panels. Um, also, one thing that I really like is you get a higher output power. Normally, most systems are 25-year warranties, which obviously this is, but you have a 30-year linear power output for the warranty. The, also, the inverter is warrantied for 25 years. So it's like, uh, all I really have to do is, you know, put together the design for you, which I can actually get the full design here. Let me just pull it up real quick. Do you know roughly when you made those, did, um, has the electric bill always been about 100 or what does it well, come to it in the summer? it was really hot, it may have been, you know, 120 maybe, but I don't think I've paid more than that since I've been here. It, in fact, the last one was just 88 bucks. Okay, is the meter on this side of the, the home? Meter's on the back of the house. Meter's on the back, I don't need to see it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to request a design really quickly so I can just show you the comparison. Uh, do you have a copy of any of the most recent bills just so I can look at the chart real quick? Yep. Let's put my stuff down for a sec. So where are you from originally? I was born and raised here. Cool. Okay. So I'll just take a quick peek at this and I paid over the phone with my debit card and they charge you extra for paying stuff over the phone. So you're, how, what is your actual name? Bill. They missed, they, I called up and said, you've brought me down as 
number three fry. <laughs> you know, it's I, I, I. That's number three. And, like, and I called him, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's about, oh, we got your name. Well, what's crazy it. is when I submit your interconnection document, which is obviously if you're like, I love this, I'm going to have to submit the interconnection document as, as this, yeah. as that, because it has to match what's on the bill. Wow. They, um, they, I talked about it and they... Your, your legal it. name is Bill or William? Well, William J. William, okay. Sometimes let's make sure I have that. And then your email address? I have no email. No email? None at none.com? I have no com. computer. I have a cell phone, but I don't do email. I can okay. barely text. <laughs> you know, I'm 60. I didn't have a cell phone until last year. Still got the flip phone. I had a, no, I had no phone. I had a landline. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, and it's like, finally, it's like, landlines are a thing of the past. Everybody's got to have a cell phone. So right. I'm like, crap, well, I've got to deal with technology now, and I hate technology. <laughs> I hate technology with a passion. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Doesn't computers, like computers are a pain in the ass. Yeah, right? I worked at this one place. I had to run a register, basically. Computer. Oh, there they go. What a freaking joke that was, man. I hated that job. Just pushing buttons all day, talking to 500 people, and I hated it. It's like, you know, I never want to have a computer. You know, and when they break, I don't know what to do. Right. I throw it back in the box, throw it away, go buy another one. Bill, what's your contact number? Uh, what do you mean, phone number? Yeah. <laughs> all right, save. It's gonna take a quick snapshot of this. Look at the actual usage, utility bill, utility. FPL, utility rate, residential, save. Okay, we're gonna edit, we're gonna upload. So you used, last year you used 438 kilowatts, this year you used 627. You can see that the rate has gone up because you only paid 60 for that. Yeah. So the cost per kilowatt has gone up. Um, as you can also see, your pretty much high months are June, July, mm -hmm. where you're almost doubling the amount of kilowatts. So I'm probably sure, whether you want to like it or not, you're probably going to have $150 bills over the summer, just based on the kilowatt average and the rate increases. So this is upload, photo library, I don't need that anymore. Select, done, select, done, add. Now, has your wife ever looked into this? She's or is not it? my wife. She has gotcha. nothing to do with this. All right, gotcha. She just lives here. I always ask. But she bitches a lot like she is the wife, so. What's your schedule looking like for the rest of the day? Do you have time right now? It might take me a little bit to get the design, well, but I can pop by in like 20 I'm minutes. I'm pop out and do some stuff. Uh, um, I can either try to make it my last stop of the night tonight, or I can make it like anytime tomorrow, I'll be out here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow works for you? Okay. Better. I'm actually here. Do you want to shoot for... Unless the car is gone, you know. Do you want to shoot for like 11, 11.30? Earlier in the day? Or a little later? Let's see. Yeah, 11.30 might be okay. Okay. So it's, I can, yeah, I can, it's gonna I be cool. It's gonna probably be 11.30. Yeah, I, I, I deal with the dog. Usually 11, we can pop out run the dog, come back, usually here around 11.30, I think, so. Perfect. 800, 800, save, this is adding all your kilowatt values right here. Um, so it's gonna build the interactive proposal. Then if a hurricane comes along, blows them off the roof. Yep. What happens? It's considered an act of God, so it falls under your homeowner's insurance. Oh, yeah, no. I own this place. I don't have yep. a mortgage. Uh huh. So, so if I, you know, and, and it's like if you don't have homeowners insurance, and you know the system has a manufacturable defect, or something happens, manufacture with the panels were in the hook for 25 years. If it's considered an act of God, it falls under the insurance. Hmm. Wow. That's just basically. I just, you know, I'm the same as my father. He, yeah. you know, once he got his house paid off, he says, "Fuck insurance." So I'm not paying insurance anymore. It's, you know, it's stupid. You have to pay insurance on some places. Well, if you own the place, yeah, then you're not in some stupid. You, you probably know. save a lot of money by not paying insurance because all you know. And it's and I, insurance to me has always seemed like a scam, mm -hmm. you know, because they can de don't deny it at any time, you know, that you could have your whole house blow away and they'll come up with a reason why they're not going to pay you or they're only going to give you this much. It's just like it's a scam. It's a legal scam, 
You know, Lloyd's of London started it all. We should, you know, hate Lloyd's of London. Yeah. Everything from England should be hated. So, you know, but, you know, it would be nice to not have an electric bill. Um, you know. Yeah, just, I'm just putting this last one. I want to look at one more thing. No, we get it with the insurance. We battle them every day. <laughs> you know, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford this house if I had had to pay insurance and a mortgage payment and everything. And it's just like, no, I just went ahead and just paid out front for the whole thing and bit the bullet. And I'm glad I did. So the down payment on a system like this for your size would be four thousand. I would make it zero. I can't go any lower than that. So no, that's you pretty can't much exactly charge negative. Yep. Or so. <clears throat> cool. So I have. Uh, they're just working on finishing the design for me on the back end right now. I'll review it all tonight. Make sure that it all looks good, and then, you know, this is kind of like the preliminary design right here based on where they like the panels so that's just the, that's where they'll put the panels this but is the ideal like no 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 this is just me sending over the information when i come back i'll show you the exact blueprint okay. um, based on what you told me and what i looked on the electric bill there's 17 solar panels it's a 6.885 kilowatt system 9327 9323 kilowatts I'd probably add maybe two to three panels to this to get you up to 110, 115% offset, which gives you a little bit of extra comfort um, because there's a small amount of degradation from the panels. So you gotta realize year 20, I want you to still be producing between 90 and 100% of your electricity. Obviously, if you get a hot tub or an electric car, you understand it's not gonna produce, no, no. you know, so. Electric cars, that's something else that can go pounds. Oh and, yeah, I hate I hate people that drive electric cars. Toyota is going to stop making EVs. I agree. They're going hydrogen. I the, the you're right. The next Toyota out step up is the hydrogen car. They've got hydrogen fuel cells work just fine, you know. And it's just like, well, hell, I'd rather much rather be putting hydrogen in my car than you know gas. But you know, I'll stick with combustion engine until they say, well, we're just going to drive a hydrogen car. Yep. But it'll still be a combustion engine though. I mean, but still, you know, electric yeah. cars are, are bullshit. I hate computers and I hate electric cars. And people, the people that drive electric cars. But they're all buttheads. I agree. <laughs> they are. They all think they're better than everybody else. I know. With the electric you know, car. I can't tell you how many Teslas have cut me off in traffic, you know. Yeah. So... That's where you just throw. You know what my favorite thing to do is when people have road rage, I take a handful of pennies and just throw them up my car. It's a handful you of pennies want to know game. what I want to do to road ragers. <laughs> proper. Yep. Yeah. Um, also, I didn't bring it up. Um, there is a tax credit. I don't know if you knew about that from the, other the government. Guys came around, and that was yeah. what they were pushing was the tax credit. The tax I, credit the, that's tax the cherry credit, on top. And, and some people don't even claim the tax credit because they don't even have enough taxable income to claim it. It's based on federal income tax. So if you didn't have a 401k, or you didn't have federal income tax, you don't even get practically it. Practically retired. Yep. So you probably won't get it, or you'd have but to transfer it. Years, well, a year and a half now. I'll kind of collect Social Security. Mm -hmm. and that's my income yeah you know, well, so this is like just you telling me that like makes me want to help you so much more because once the panels go on the roof the amount that i show you tomorrow would be fixed meaning that 10 years from now if fbl said you know our rates are going up 30 40 50 percent like or 200 percent like they've done in states like new hampshire and massachusetts where they already pay 40 to 50 cents a kilowatt california 40 to 50 cents a kilowatt florida 17 cents a kilowatt it's only a matter of time before we get into the 20s, 30s, and 40 cents per each one of the kilowatts we consume, which is making that 100, $120 bill to 300 mm -hmm. 10 years from now, which yeah. I think most people would probably say it's more likely that the bill will double in 10 years than stay the same because we use natural resources. Now, I got a letter from uh, FPNL the other day saying that you could be a subscriber to the big solar array they've got, you know, but you have to get in on the project now. Only like this many people are allowed and it gets your you know bill down to nothing, blah, 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 blah. But you know, you're, it's like, well, you're gonna connect my house directly to the solar panels. You're gonna run a wire from here to there. It's like, yeah. we're gonna feed that into the system. Well, how do I know I'm getting that electricity? How do I know I'm not getting electricity from something else? And it's like, you guys are like, just confusing me. You know, it's like, you wanna help me. But yep. it's just like, well, I don't understand how you're helping i'm still paying you you're just telling me my electricity is coming from this solar array now and not from the fpnl down the street 
Uh, the thing is, is the utility companies, whether people want to realize it or not, they're, they are corrupt. They have, they have to get a certain amount, of, and they're America's last monopoly. And I think what a lot of people are starting to realize is if they continue to nickel and dime us, and you know, people just pay their power bill because you know, if they charge you 300 next month, what are you going to do? You just pay it. So, like, you know, you can research who I am because I think trust is the only objection I face with people. Um, I've done this since 2014, and when I come by tomorrow, I'll show you exactly how it is. And if you like the idea, then we'd submit an application to see if we can get it approved. You go to the back of the line. If it gets approved, when you're in the front of the line, I actually have an install happening on Friday of this week. It's a little bit away from here, though. It's in. It's probably about 45 minutes, 30 minutes in Lake Placid. No, I um, driving to Lake Placid. I know. I, I hear you. Um, I haven't left town. In I'm, I'm gonna have them. Um, couple years. I would have them, I'm gonna have them send me a video of the install so like I can text you a bunch of, you know, people that have helped and, you know, their situations and, you know, you're right though, if I worked at 7-Eleven last week and I was trying to explain to you how solar works, it's, you know, people are gonna say, no, I'm confused, it doesn't make sense and nobody wants to get screwed, so that's it. If, if you don't feel completely good about it tomorrow, just tell me to kick rocks. All right. Okay. So tomorrow at about 11.30, 11 I'll pop by. So I'll be sure I'm back from the park with the dog. Just really ungrateful. See you later. See you later, three. Huh? I said, see you later, three. That's your name on the utility oh, bill. Yeah. I, I, I. <laughs> capital The I, third. Yeah. Well, this is capital I, two little I's on the, when they, yeah. they write something, it's like, <laughs> three. Uh, geez, man, you guys. It's like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll get the money. We know who you are. Fry the fry the third. But I swear, I, I wrote it down. I, I printed it out when I, you know, signed up for the electricity. You know, please print your name here. Okay, I printed it out. Well, whoever was entering it just it was not paying attention. Yeah. You know, it's like going to smack them, you know, but hey, it's just another computer problem, you know. Right. It can't be rectified just by calling up and complaining about it. Oh, well, we've got to get a hold of the, the tech guy, and he's got to come in and cleanse the system and do all this stuff. Oh, you mean you can't just push a button and change it to Bill? Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay, whatever. So I'm three fry now. Three fry. And it was fry. funny. Sounds like a rapper, dude. When I was a kid. <laughs> three fry. Kid, my father, I'm like five years old. My father had met some people through his business and they had invited him to come over for dinner. And we'll bring your son, because we have a son, and his name is Billy. So my father comes to me, he goes, hey, well, we're going to go over to Ed's house and he's got a son named Billy too. And I thought that was his name was Billy too. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought, can we go over to Billy Two's house? And it's like, uh, no, 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 his name is Billy. Billy Two, yeah. Let's go. It's like, no, no, his name is Billy, not Billy Two. And it's just Billy. It's like, and his last name's Two, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. His last name is something else. But it's just like, for the longest time, I thought his name was Billy Two. That'd be the best introduction ever. Be like, Billy Two, I'm Billy Three. Good to meet you. <laughs> it's like Thing One, Thing Two, and Thing Three. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy. Cool. But anyway, all right. I will see you tomorrow. All right, Bill. 1130. I'll be here. I'll have a full design. You know, if you have any questions, let's write them down, and uh, you know, we'll see if it can make sense. Don't hopefully, hopefully Gabriel problem. doesn't fall and. I fell twice. It's not well, good. don't fall on my. Ah, uh, this kid's a, he's a pro on this thing. I don't care. Don't fall on my. Problem. Hey, you're a fisherman. Huh? You're a fisherman. I haven't fished for eons. Oh yeah. I you know I lost interest when Billy's Creek got too polluted to fish in anymore. I was, I was a riverbank freshwater fisherman. I don't go out on boats. I don't cast net. I don't do anything. Uh, you know, if I can't get it with a Zebco or a bait caster, I'm not interested. Yeah. All right, so here's a trivia question I've asked for two years. I have not gotten a correct answer. You win $20 right now if you can tell me what type of fish that is. No clue. I don't deep sea fish. That's something you don't catch from the bank. Nope. It's you know? it's called a hogfish, and they're the tastiest eating fish you'll well, ever I get. I would have eventually given it some kind of weird name like dogfish or yeah, you know, pigfish or something like that. I would have took a shot at it. Yeah. Hey, I eventually would have hit hog if I had multiple choice. Yeah, you would have. Right. <laughs> Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Okay. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck, somebody else. Oh, we will. I'll bring a bunch of references. I'll bring a bunch of stuff to show you tomorrow. Okay. All right. See you, Bill. All right. Where are we going? So